Presenting the Nonlinear Junction Detector ST400K-MAN ST400K-MAN is a new model from 2014 year. The device features a new principle of operation, high resistance to interference and false signals, 40% higher detection rate of hidden electronic devices in comparison to the other nonlinear junction detectors found on the market today. Works with standard batteries, which makes buying new ones from the camera stores possible. This is the delivery set. ST400K-MAN comes in a shockproof case that contains the following. ST400K-MAN nonlinear junction detector itself. Canon BP970 accumulator battery. Electric charger. Charger adapter. Headphones. Test dummy number one. Test dummy number two. Operating manual, and of course the delivery set case and key. The ST400K MAN nonlinear junction detector consists of antenna module, main suit, control panel. Telescopic arm, elbow support, and a battery compartment. Install the battery into the battery compartment. Place the rod ends back into the guide holes in the main body and push the elbow support all the way in. Fix the guide rods with the two wing bolts. The device is ready to use. Do not try to change the antenna incline with the clamp locked. You may break the hinge joint. Unlock the lock to adjust the antenna module angle. Telescopic arm adjustment lock. Three point five jack headphone socket. These are all parts and now K-MAN is ready to be switched on. To switch on the device, use the on-off switch located at the bottom of the control panel. The adaptive mode is enabled by pressing and holding for 3 seconds the mode button. The adaptation takes 10 to 15 seconds without the indicators but sense lit in the meantime on the antenna module. The sense indicator will be showing a consecutive lighting of segments. The user can check if any of the indicator segments are dead. Switching from automatic to manual mode is done by pressing the same button. Automatic Manual The audio mode is primarily intended for analyzing target responses by listening to the modulated signal output. This should give the operator ample information to identify the target type. To switch to audio mode from either search mode, press audio. The audio indicator will lit up on the antenna head. The ST400K MAN nonlinear junction detector makes it possible to listen to the modulated signals while probing with six different frequency combinations. Each combination indicated by the LEDs on the CH bar is suited to deal with a particular category of nonlinear objects. Upon activation of the audio mode, frequency combination 1 is set by default. It is meant for probing semiconductor content and as a rule gives good results in identifying active radio transmitting and sound recording devices. Frequency combination 2 is used to analyze return signals from metal oxide metal structures. 
The remaining four combinations are auxiliary. Their use is advised when responses have been observed in search modes on the red level multi segment gauge, yet probing with combination has rendered no definitive findings. The strength of the reflected signals for the different scanning frequencies is shown on the display. Switching from audio mode to search mode is done by pressing the mode button. K-Man has a unique wide working frequency range from 2 GHz to 3 GHz. Upon switching on the device, an automatic scanning and setting is performed in the three frequencies from the working frequency range. While working, K-Man emits in 8 working frequencies from the whole working frequency range. Final result is gathered through analysis and comparison between the gathered data from all 8 working frequencies. We'll demonstrate the work of the unit for locating several different devices. A SIM card a radio microphone, a needy tiny digital audio recorder. Bear in mind that this is a regular audio recorder and does not emit any signal. And a smartphone. The problem with smartphones is that they do not return any reflected signal. The same procedure is repeated here. The recorder is located, the sound of the room as well as the sound of its electronic components work is heard. Locating a smartphone is done in the same manner. It is possible that the input sound of the microphone of the telephone or the output sound of the speaker will be returned in audio mode. When locating a metal oxide metal structure, the verification is done in the audio mode. A background noise reduction should take effect. When a physical influence of the object is present, a sound of its mechanical components moving will be heard. Now 
Nonlinear Junction Detector ST400K Man is a device that really stands out. It has a unique algorithm for verification of return signals. By listening to the amplitude and frequency demodulation in audio mode, the type of the located objects can be identified. By monitoring the level of the reflected surface, a conclusion for the type of the located object can be made. Listening with six different frequencies makes metal oxide metal transitions easy to find. It can capture signals from radio microphones, some wired microphones, microphones of certain types of audio recorders, microphones and speakers of some smartphone models and GSM microphones. K-Man captures the sound emitted from working electronic components of hidden electronic devices. It has a low level of radiated power and a sharp directional antenna. All that, including the ergonomic design, allows for continuous operation. It's suitable for use in an environment with high electronic device density and it can work simultaneously with other nonlinear junction detectors without interference. K-Man has a much higher rate of hidden electronic device detection. It's very reliable in cases where masking attempts for electronic device are made. It has the best price, features and characteristics ratio on the market today.